Kansas Appleseed understands the importance of working uh, with our hard to count populations at Southwest Kansas to make sure that the low participation rate that we had in 2010 doesn't happen again. As yes, our hard to count populations include people of color, um, immigrant community or migrant community with or without documentation, uh, young children under five, uh, people with disabilities, and a lot of our rural areas. For every person that doesn't participate in the census, we lose approximately $2,000 per year, so in a period of 10 years that accumulates to a lot of money that our communities are not receiving. Uh, if we want our communities to thrive and have bright futures, we need to make sure that we have the funding available to make sure that we can provide those services. Starting March 12, we're going to get an invitation on the mail um, from the census. In this invitation, there is going to be a um, ID code um, that can then be entered online um, or by phone to answer for the census. If you uh, don't answer to this invitation right away, you're going to get another reminder um, before April 1st. A lot of us are not um, used to keeping a lot of mail that doesn't come addressed to us. And so everything that you receive from the census is going, not gonna be addressed to you. It's going to be addressed to um, the residents of and then your address. Once um, you have answered either online, by phone, or through the mail option, then you are done with the census. And um, otherwise, you will get um, uh, approximately the end of April, uh, the census takers are going to go door to door making sure that we answer to the census. The census is only 10 questions, 10 really simple questions about ourselves that don't really have a lot of identifying information. Everything in the census is protected by the Constitution, so there is no way that our information is going to be released to any government agencies, including immigration or law enforcement.